Welcome to the last installment of the series on screencasting. Now that we have our final edit and we've also added some animations and transitions, it's time to export our footage. But first we need to set some markers. Without setting markers, you might have some footage at the end that you don't want to show. And without setting markers, it'll export the whole timeline. And to set markers, all you do is you scroll to the beginning of your footage and you click I, and then you scroll to the end of your footage or where you want the end to be and then click O. Then to export, we will hold down Command and M, and the menu will pop up. If we're uploading to YouTube under the preset dropdown, we can select YouTube 1080p HD, and it will give us the best options for exporting. By clicking the output name, you can choose where you want to save your file. And when you're done, click on export, and congratulations, your screencast is complete. Uploading to YouTube is just as easy, and if you just drag your final video onto the YouTube upload button, type in a suitable title, description, and tags, you'll be on your way. Hope you learned something in this series. I know I went through some topics a bit fast, so if you have any questions, feel free to leave in the comment section below, and I'll do my best to answer them. If you'd like to learn more about effects and transitions you can do in Premiere Pro, you can find that on my channel, The Filmmaker's Formula, and I would love to have you there. I wish you guys luck, and thank you for having me. Thanks to Sean for making this happen, and I hope all of you have a wonderful day.